Hi everybody, so today I'm going to first let me as you all know I have brought a friend for this video Michael the cat and as you can see the weather it's not very good it's like a sandstorm and let's go back to why we're making this video uh, so I'm going to be reading the book called The Frog Prince. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell right beside it. And also hit the like button if you think he should be in more of our videos. And if you think he's cute. So now let's start. The Frog Prince In the ancient time when dreams could come true, there was a king whose daughters were very beautiful, especially the youngest one. Even the son who has seen everything was also surprised by her beauty. It was very hot. The little princess often played with her golden ball by the well near the palace. Once, the princess was reaching out for the golden ball, but the ball fell on the ground and rolled into the well. I do not understand how that happened. So, I don't really understand how the ball rolled into the well, because rolled into the well, because the well is like quite taller than the ground. Like, let's say that this is the, like the grass over here and the well is gonna be this and like the well is this tall from the ground. So how can the ball possibly, possibly roll inside the well? Um, they probably got confused with their grammar or something. Yeah. I don't understand. That's my opinion. Now next. The princess cried sadly. She was very upset. At this moment, suddenly, she heard someone calling her and asking her what's wrong. The princess looked around and found a frog. The princess said her ball had fell into the well. The frog comforted her and told her he could get the ball. But the princess had to be his friend. She should allow him to sit at the same table. And she should allow him to use the same golden plate and sleep in the same bed with her. But the princess looked down upon the frog. But in order to get the ball, she agreed these all immediately. The frog jumped into the well. After a while, he swam to the surface with the golden ball and spat it on the grass. The princess was very happy to see her beloved toy. She picked it up and ran away. And she forgot her promise. Hey, you! The frog shouted hey! at her, but it was hey, no you! use. The king asked her what happened. The little princess had to tell her, her father the truth. After the king heard the story, he said, You should keep your promise. Let the frog in. The princess had to open the door. The frog bounced in and followed her every step. The princess reluctantly sat together with the frog. 
sharing her dinner with him. She couldn't eat anything, so she went back to her room to sleep. The frog wanted to go with her. The princess started to cry, but the king was angry and asked the princess to like let him sleep in her room. The princess had no choice. She put the frog at the corner of the bedroom. The frog insisted on sleeping on the bed, otherwise he would tell the king. Look at how angry she is. Now the princess got angry and grabbed the throg, frog and threw him towards the wall. She looks like happy over here <laughs> that he, she threw him in the wall. He, she looks kind of happy and kind of angry. The frog fell on the ground and became a handsome prince. According to the king's will, he became the princess's husband. By this time, the prince told the princess everything. He was cursed by an evil witch. No one could save him except the princess. So he wanted to take the princess back to his country. Next morning, they rode a golden carriage pulled by six white horses. They went back to the prince's country and lived happily ever after. The end. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to like if you think Mike is cute and he should be in more videos. Bye.